Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover. And if you've been watching the channel, you know I recently bought a Starlink. And the first couple trips, I was using the cardboard box to cart it around, and that didn't work out too well. And so I went on the internet and found different uh, options for carrying the Gen 3 dish. Found two local companies in San Diego that do it. So here's the case. Thing I like about it is the dish will go in either way. So you can put it in with the kickstand up, or you can also put it in and take off the kickstand and it sits in that direction as well. And believe it or not, this case is designed, if you want, to actually operate with the dish inside the case the only thing you have to be careful about is uh, it gets hot and so you don't want to have it out in the sun or something like that. But you could actually close this case and plug in the ethernet cord and a power cord and run the dish from inside, which is another advantage. But what I like about this is really if I'm um, out and about and at lunchtime I want to stop and get some internet to check my email and stuff, it's in a Pelican case, which I'm a big fan of Pelican cases. And secondly, it gives me options because the other company that I looked at mounted the dish on the roof and that really limited my options. And so I was much, much rather have the ability to use this case and move it around depending on what I'm going to be doing. All right, so a big advantage of this case is rather than fiddle with the power and the router, and the cord and everything, everything sits in the case and is strapped in tight and is secure. And all you have to do is plug in, uh, and I'll show you in a minute, um, ethernet on the outside port and also a power cord on the outside port. But everything stays in here and is well protected. So we're gonna make a 12 um, volt inverter that sits here and also a temperature sensor because if you do run the dish in the case, you'll wanna be very cognizant of the temperature to make sure it doesn't overheat. It also has room for the long original Starlink cord, ethernet cord. And they also give you a very small one if you wanna run that from the port right up to the dish if it's sitting on top of the case. So here are the two external ports. Uh, the top one is for the ethernet, and then below that is the power cord. So I just went down about a nice um, extension cord, about 25 feet, and you'll plug that in down here. All right, so they also supply in the kit a small ethernet uh, cable, and so if you're gonna put the dish on the top of the case, uh, you just do that. You're going to plug it in here on the Ethernet port. Like I said, this is screwed. You're going to plug that in, plug it into the back of the um, satellite dish. So what I did today was um, we're in a, a canyon where the service is not optimal. And so I ran the cord uh, quite a bit away from the case, put it out where the clearance was as good as possible from uh, north northwest. So again, this is the first impressions video. I'll do another updated video in uh, six to eight months. I spoke to the owners. They're really super, super nice people. Went over and looked at the unit in person since I was close to them. And um, so far, super happy, but um, time will tell. Uh, the other option of putting it on the roof rack uh, was very compelling in a lot of ways but very limiting and so having this portable case where i can throw it from rig to rig or i can put the um the dish wherever i want seemed to make a lot of sense to me so i hope you found this video uh useful if you did i'd greatly appreciate a like or even better i would love a subscribe if you see me out and about please say hi and remember get outside